the centerpiece, David Francisco and his partner, Golden Boy Santos. What a time to be alive! The way that you used to talk about David Francisco. Look at that beautiful t-shirt the right there. About him now. Speaking of on sale now. There's no actual drink in there. I'm just using it to, to showcase the wholesome Pepsi mug. DaveFrancisco.net slash merch. Sent to saw the lights, joined forces with me as we take out common enemies. Shasemos decided to mess in our business as we were trying to teach Oscar Lobby a lesson. We are now tag teaming. Santos and I are gonna face Sha and Oscar in Southampton. Look at him getting in Francesca's face. Making sure she's doing her job right, Andy. Beautiful. And the if thing about Southampton is that Southampton is Francisco. Asking, where is David Francisco? He is a man you should put all of your stocks in, Andy. How much? How, much you do you pay you? How much has he paid you? Absolutely nothing. Home away from home away from home is Southampton. So to the lovely, glorious people of Southampton, Sean Samuels is the man who helped and mentored David Francisco. Did you see the way that David Francisco repaid him? I learned all that I had to learn from Shah Samuels. The good and the bad. We are celebrating Shah Samuels as this great legend of uh, British wrestling, but we need to acknowledge what he has done and how he has gotten into that position. And to talk about Shah Samuels now without addressing previous Shah Samuels, I believe is unfair, not just to Shah Samuels, but to the entire history of British wrestling. All I'm doing and this entire thing with Shah Samuels is putting a mirror right in front of him so he can see himself. And as he sees himself, he will have to respect himself, which means that he will have to respect me. I am trying to solidify even further the legacy that Shah Samuels leaves behind. And to think that there are people that think that I have stabbed them in the back when all I'm doing is repaying the favor. Really repaying the favor. It's a shame. It's a shame. Now someone else has the audacity to do it to him. Suddenly it's unfair. Suddenly it's not right. Suddenly you've got a problem with it. It's bollocks, Andy. And I for one won't stop. Oh, oh man. That rocked him. Look at how much that rocked him. Let's go, Santos. Clearly, Shah's trying to calm things down. Santos is eager to go for Oscar. Shah's in his way. So I guess Santos just wanted to start things off. And I'm like, okay, let's go then. I will say this. Loeba did start the war with Golden Boy Santos. We saw what happened in Barcelona. We saw the rake of the eyes that led to Loeba gaining a victory over, over Golden Boy Santos. All the work that I've been doing here on the channel is, is being free. Fruitful. Andy Quilden, and he's just the voice of, of a lot of people. I've seen the air of their ways and they have realized that Oscar Loeb is started this. Oscar Loeb is started this. And we all need to understand that that's the case. Well, Appreciate that Santos and Oscar and are, and have Dolan this rivalry Santos and they're trying to, feel, to really go for each other. Is, but hey, it's a tag team match and Oscar made a mistake. And that word, disrespect, all respect, whichever way you are, oh, 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 and he suffered Santos. from it. Let's go, Santos. Why am I down to tell you my name, baby? David Francisco's out of control right now. Shah just chopping him in the back. Like just he's Santos nothing, is like so heavy hitting. More people. Typical Samuels. And I like the attitude too. He's doing great. He knows that he's in control, so he's just gonna stay on Shah. Shah is clearly rocked, especially since that big forearm, that open procedure. Big European here. uppercut. Why are you being like this? Why am I being like what? Well, look behind the back. I'm just so good at just uh, creating the openings and the opportunities against him. Absolutely, we should look things at that to happen Go. in the match. I want to show you this thing that happened here. Shaq oh, caught him, oh, and like behind my back was getting out of the ring. I didn't see that happening. I decided to just stay out, but I needed to do something because that clearly, like, Santos clearly hard from that. You can see him clutching the back of the head. So I did something. Referee never saw the tag. You saw the tag. Tough break. Get out the ring. Sometimes you just have to make things happen, right? 
That's exactly what I'm doing there. As David Francisco just assaulting Charles Samuels. Dang. And David Francisco, Cockley going into this contest, was telling anyone who would listen, he's going to get cheered tonight in Southampton. And That's not happened. Maybe on the way to the ring, but the way he's conducted himself. Whatever. Listen, I'm telling you this right now. The true David Francisco has been coming out lately. Andy Quilden's wrong and he's about to eat his own words. Listen to this. Oh. oh, did you speak too soon, Andy? Maybe yes, he did. David Francisco getting cheered by these wonderful the people in Southampton. The commentators who often, I have said are the best fans in the world, Andy. Smart, smart fans in Southampton. You'll always hear me say it. Much better than those Portsmouth plebs. You know what I would love? I would love to wrestle Will Caven in Southampton. Hometown boy defending Southampton's honor against a uh, uh, proudly Portsmouthian. That's how you say it, right? I'll do it. I'll do it for my home away from home away from home. Shaz is proving to really tough to beat. Slot from Francisco continues. Beautiful chop to the back. Listen, I don't even know why we're commentating this match because you know that we're going to get a running commentary of it. A director's cut, if you will, from David Francisco. Oh, yes, you will. That's what we're doing right here, right now. It's happening, Andy. It's happening right now. This is Twitter handle. Oh, I don't know. Exactly. He's out of you control. You don't care about He's David Francisco. This just Look. proves it. I like how Andy keeps saying I'm out of control. I may put that on a t-shirt in there. I love it. My Twitter handle is I'm D Francisco, by the way. Just make sure you follow me there if you haven't yet. Follow Excuse his me. YouTube. Yeah. Follow his Twitch streams. Shout out to the Twitch streams. Every Monday. Every Monday. Here I am live. Shaw Samuels looking for some right now in Loiber. Come on, Loiber. Uh, I like, I'll give it to Loiber on this one. From Loiber, stopping Oscar oh. from seeing that oh. to go to oh. Santos. Oh! I have thought better of you, Oscar. This is oh. beneath you, Oscar. I have to respect it. I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite, okay? We played them first, Oscar ended up playing us, and I, I got to give it to him. Well done. One good thing you did, and you learn it from me. You're welcome. I went for spine bust. Oh, Francisco sends Samuels into Loiber. Loiber comes charging with a big forearm. That's a problem. Get him! People are teaming with each other. And Santos just took his head off with a big clothesline that walked straight Fair. in to the spine. But he didn't see this one coming. Charles Samuels, but watch out! Oh, Everstone, oh, let's go. Huge, huge Everstone kick from David Francisco. We're only three matches in. They've been drinking on a Sunday afternoon. Andy, they like Why? me. What do you want me to Why do? do like they have great have taste. Bring... David Francisco has won hearts and minds here in Southampton. And you're putting it down to being on the piss. We need to talk about what Ridiculous. happens here now because this is important. And Samuel was a lawyer trying to fire each other. The legal person in this moment is Shah. Shah Samuels looks at Oscar Loiber and instead of telling him to leave the ring so he could balance it out, as I'm telling Santos, like, hey, if Oscar leaves the ring, then you should leave the ring too. But what Shah's doing here is firing Oscar up so they come and fight us and he's deciding and encouraging the illegal man to stay in the ring. And they Samuel jump us. To fire each other up. Let's go. And Let's they go. both throw us outside. Ah, right, this is important. I want to make sure that this is clear for everybody. What happened here? That's Shah Samuels right there throwing me to the outside. And this is That's Oscar Loiba. All four men looking for a On your left. And throwing Santos to the outside as well. Listen. They brought things out of the ring. That they escalated things into the where they are right now. Remember what I said about fighting rules. fire with fire, right? I uh, was able to just crack Francisco Shah's head on the post. I am and fighting fire with fire well. again. I like, I've done nothing like this until they decided point. to just David jump Francisco, us in the middle of a tag team match. And, and, eyes, and um, sent hard into the go us to the outside wall. the way they did. Remember, Shah Samuels did this. And Oscar Loiber did this. Shah could have easily told Oscar Loiber to leave the ring because he was not the legal man. Shah Samuels was. That's how it happened. They grabbed us and they threw us out of the ring. And then they started fighting us outside. I don't want to hear any complaints. I sat here in front of this microphone in this chair saying that I compliment and I celebrate Oscar Loiba fighting fire with fire using my strategy, our strategy against us to be able to give Shah Samuels an opportunity to finally make the tag and get Oscar back in the ring. Then, just like we're celebrating that, we 
have to also celebrate Santos and I fighting fire with fire. We didn't escalate things. They did. Sha Samos escalated things. Sha Samos was on firing up Oscar Loiva. We are fighting in the field that they've chosen. And look at this, we're winning. The Samuels! Oh, come on! This fight continues! Referee and now Martin, that very, very Shah Samuels is alone and he knows that Oscar is down, yeah, now he wants to send yes. Santos in the ring. Great combination there. Maybe the best at clothesline in the whole of Revolution Pro Wrestling. But don't Camera didn't catch it well, but this was another clothesline. Oh. Look at that power! Bomb from Golden Boy Santos. Oh, but Short Samuels kicked out. Fair. Still so resilient is Sash Samuels. Samuels kicks out. I'm gonna try and Maybe. hit the same bomb again. He saw it was coming. God damn it. Good on Santos, he was right there. Shah Samuels is now going mad on the illegal man in the match. Frustration. It's very rare you see Shah Samuels this wound up at a wrestler, isn't it? Oh, yes! Give me a break! What a massive blow from David Francesco! Look at his face! Victory! Are you kidding me? Absolute gloriousness, Andy! at the right time, at the right venue! Wow! The centerpiece picking up yet another victory here in Revolution Pro Wrestling! I want to clarify, I want to just continue to bring this point home because I want us all to understand what happened here. This is a field that wasn't chosen by me. Santos and I were keeping everything in the ring. It was Oscar and especially Shaq clearly being the one firing Oscar up that brought things to the outside that decided to escalate things. So no one come and tell me that I was the one escalating things because I wasn't. Sha and Oscar set the tone and I only responded in the tone that they set. I fought fire with fire. In this exact same match, Oscar fought fire with fire and he was celebrated and commended. I fought fire with fire and I've been hearing crap about it ever since. And now, now we're gonna go into a street fight. Now, Santos and I are going to play in the playing field that they have chosen. They started this. The thing that they don't know is that the playing field that they've chosen to play in is actually my home turf. And if you think I have been dangerous now, I've been tenacious now, I've been resourceful now, wait until I can do whatever I want. They think that this is leveling the playing field? No, 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 no. I've leveled the playing field when I've done what I had to do to win the match, when I responded in kind to what they started. And this street fight is not leveling up the playing field, this street fight is making it harder and worse for my opponents because they are facing David Francisco in a street fight. If you don't believe me, ask Conor Mills, ask Michael Oku, ask what I've done to them. If this is what people want, this is what people are gonna get. Don't come and complain when you've escalated things to the level that I am comfortable playing at. I wanna hear none, no excuses, nothing. Shah Samuels and Oscar Loiba. If you want a fight instead of a match, you're gonna get a fight instead of a match. Just be careful what you wish for. And remember, you guys, and especially everyone else is gonna be watching what it's there. Remember that you have asked for this. God, I'm feeling it now, honestly. Playtime's over because I know, I know what people are saying. You think I'm afraid of this? I'm thriving this. I thrive in this. Watch me. Not because I'm a sicko who loves pain and hurting people. None of that. Because I'm smart. I'm intelligent. I'll do whatever it takes. And now I can do whatever it takes. You've opened the doors. You've opened the possibilities into the things that I can do. Imagine what I'm going to do. Damn. God, I'm annoyed.